All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is your bout number three. Let's call him coming up to the blue corner, Jonathan Francisco. And let's all welcome coming up to the red corner, Denwick Sumambo. So ladies and gentlemen, good evening and we welcome you once again here in Bohol Wisdom Gymnasium. Pride of Bohol is presented to you by Vladimir Boxing Promotions in association with Tagbilaran City Government headed by the Honorable Mayor Baba Ya. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, all professional bouts are sanctioned by the Games and Amusement Board Chairman Abraham Khalil Mitra, Commissioner Edward Trinidad, Commissioner Mar Masangir, OIC of Boxing Division and All Contact Sports, Jackie Catcher, the Games and Amusement Board Cebu, OIC Arlene Olandres. Ladies and gentlemen, this is eight rounds of boxing in the Super Flyweight Division. The three judges for this contest is called this bout on a 10-point mass system will be Tony Person, Angel, Angelito Piquero, and Arnel Pasha. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Delbert Pellegrino. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, finding out the blue corner tonight, wearing white with yellow trim. Official weight, 115 pounds, with a professional record of 10 wins, 4 wins coming by way of knockout, with 11 defeat and 1 bout even. From RMC Boxing Stable, of Cebu City, ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Francisco. His opponent across the ring, fighting out the red corner, wearing white with red trim, also weighing 115 pounds. His professional records, nine wins. Eight wins coming by way of knockout with two defeats. From Harada Boxing Gym of Tagbilaran City, Bohol, ladies and gentlemen, Demrek Sumabo. Once again, your referee for instructions. Kami nak, nak nak 
stop. Let me sumpag ha. Pagtayin yung isa-isa. Okay. Come on. Touch it up. Okay. This is Pride of Bohol, our next bout. 115 pounders. We have Danrik Sumabong in the red corner with the red and white trunks against Jonathan Francisco out of Cebu in the white with gold. Now, Sumabong was a perfect last name, if you ask me. Yeah, perfect. Uh, very impressive record. Nine wins, two losses, but eight wins by knockout. That's right. Scary. Jonathan Francisco, a journeyman with 10 wins. Four, uh, 11, 11 losses, losses and one draw. That's right. So, in other words, uh, Sumabong may be using his opponent as a stepping stone. Pretty much. This is scheduled for eight rounds. Yeah, and uh, coming from Bohol, even as he was stepping into the ring, Bill, you could hear the crowd really backing him up. He's pretty popular uh, in these parts, obviously. Really snappy jab. His hands are a bit low, though, at the start of this fight. Just to note, both of these fighters were actually over the 115-pound limit of the super flyweights yesterday. Uh, Francisco was a one and a half pound, oh, sorry, half a pound over, while Sumabong was one pound over. However, they just agreed to like push through with the fight without even any weight loss. Sure. So Sumabong, so far in control. Mm -hmm. He's uh. He has some nice sneaky jabs, Bill. He's uh, telling Francisco pretty much where to go in this fight. Mm -hmm. Sumabong trying to get the range. Yep. Using the ropes very well. Now, unlike the six rounders, this this length of fight pretty much can give them uh, time to get to know each other in the first mm -hmm. couple of rounds. Sumabong. Came in with a flashier entrance with That's the right. pomp and pageantry and uh, <laughs> smoke and uh, mirrors, oh. Las Vegas nice style. Body shot. But they look pretty big for 115 pounders. Yeah, they are quite big. Nice left there by Sumabong, but again, no follow through. Yep. He's uh, throwing uh, one or two punches at a time. Big miss there by Francisco. Francisco, very intense. Looking for his shots. Better go clamshell defense by Danrik. Yeah. Francisco may be a journeyman, but uh, a total of 22 fights already in his belt, so quite experienced. And sometimes it's just really they're not maybe getting the proper coaching or support. Yeah, mismanagement maybe. Whoa. A solid exchange there. Scary. Sumabong. Another, another one. Solid combination. Whoa, oh, that was a bit low. Francisco may be in a little trouble here. Whoa, wow, solid one, right Sumabong. hook by Sumabong. Pero mati ba itong si Francisco? Yeah. Nice body He's shot there. Swallowing those punches. Doesn't even look faced, Bill. Yeah. Like walking through the rain. Yeah. Slight. Very nice ending to our first round. Mm -hmm. I would give this one to Sumabo. That's right. Action picking up towards the end. Should be the case in the coming rounds. And the round one. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for six rounds. Also, Second round scheduled for eight. Danik Sumabong with a flourish to end round one. That's right. Pretty convincing. Yeah. He looks the more solid of the two fighters so far. Okay. I'm pretty sure he hopes to carry it over in this round too, Bill. He's kept Jonathan Francisco on the defensive. Right. 
And look at the speed he's showing with that jab. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice jab there. A lot of confidence being shown by Somabong. Yeah, just fades out of that uh, precarious situation. Somabong pretty much just oh, picking nice. his spots here. Beautiful Francisco scroll. has really no choice but to counter. He seems the slower of the two. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Francisco the Beautiful stopper. Beautiful body shots there. Somabong complaining that one of those shots was a low blow. The only minor deficiency I see in uh, Somabong is he doesn't push off with the leg. Oh! oh. Solo! Oh. One-two combination there. That nice. put Somabong on the seat of his pants. That's a wake-up call. Yeah, that's right. He's still looking calm and collected, but he doesn't seem that hurt. More he of a shock. Actually, he was actually caught off balance. Yeah, right. More a shock. Now he's got some ground but to make up. All of a sudden, we've got an even fight. Yeah. And now more confidence by oh. Francisco. Oh, wow. Dandrick turning Sumabong. up the heat. Both of them throwing bombs. Yeah. Sumabong asserting himself now. Yes. But you know, that's an automatic 10-8 round. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Unless. Unless he gets a knockout. <laughs> and things have settled down. Yeah, literally out of nowhere. Nobody expected that. Especially Sumabong. <laughs> it was a combination of uh, two good punches. Oh, that was a low blow. Oh! He's down again, but in this case, it was a low blow. Now, if he can continue, he will be given five minutes. Five minutes to recover. A maximum of five minutes to recover. That's right. Now, that's happened to Larry Holmes a lot in of the time. heavyweights. Yes. That'll knock the wind out of you. Oh, well, we all know how that feels. Yeah. Now, generally, what's the rule, Del, if the fighter is unable to continue? And then they're unable to continue, considering that uh, we're only in round number two. It's, Before uh, the no midpoint, contest. yes. Yeah. It's going to be a no contest. If it were beyond the fourth round, maybe we could go to the judges' scorecards. And there, now they've started a five-minute clock to see if uh, Danrik Sumabong can, can recover. recover. Uh, I do believe that the corner may assist him a bit in situations like this. In situations like this, the corner may assist him a bit on the discretion of the referee because normally we can jump around but if you cannot jump around to shake that off the trainer can actually lift your legs on a 90 degree angle yes. and hit the uh, balls of your feet and I mean that figuratively the balls of your feet because pretty much there are nerves there at the bottom of our feet that is connected to our groin area and that could ease the pain I know that from first hand experience and he should uh, that's a little too much information know, though but, but thank you no, because that's not that's not the usual norm. People would jump up and down, but uh, I've been in that situation before. And uh, let's see if he gets up. It's about uh, two minutes uh, since giving. he fell down due to a very low blow. That's right. We should ask the timers officially. Where are we right now? And that was a very powerful blow oh, too, yeah. coming from the journeyman uh, Jonathan Francisco. And just when things were getting oh yeah hot. And Francisco, before that, got a knockdown. Exactly. So he would have stolen this round. If not for this. So, two more minutes, apparently. Two more minutes. All right, three minutes have gone by. But if he is unfit to continue, this will be a no contest. A no contest, absolutely. Which is very unfortunate, because I was really looking forward to... They look evenly matched. Yes. Uh, the way the match was going in the first two rounds prior to this incident, uh, it looks like we were in, in for one heck of a fight, but let's see what happens. So we have to wait the uh, mandatory maximum five-minute recovery period. One more minute. But he doesn't show any signs of getting up. I think he was made aware that he only has one more minute. That's why he should make a conscious effort. And you know, for the crowd, nobody can tell how badly that hurt. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, even if you have a protective cup. Now he should have done this earlier. 
He couldn't. He couldn't. There are instances when you know what to do, but your body will just wouldn't respond. So let's see if he can continue. Five minutes is pretty much up right now. I wonder how many minutes is left in this particular round. Yes. That he should last just to get through. I think they should make a decision already whether to continue or not. Yeah. I think he's ready. Yeah, he's ready. Okay, we have a fight. Oh, boy. This I gotta see. And that's a lot of time to rest in the middle of a fight. Oh, he's upset. Oh, yeah, he's not happy. Francisco missing. Good left jab there by Sumabo. Oh, nice. Sumabo now countering. Sneaky left. Another sneaky left. He wants to end this. No more chances. He suffered a knockdown. Yeah. And then got hit with a low blow. Very telling in the eyes of the judges. Yes. But you know, one more low blow and Francisco could be disqualified. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's another story. Even if it happens. Well, again, it could still be the discretion of the referee. If he finds one of those low blows unintentional and one intentional, still depends on the referee. So Mabong picking up the pace. Still going to be a 10-8 round in favor of Francisco, though. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Boy! Well, it We've seems seen a lot, and it's only our third fight. That's right. Sumabong seems to have regained his bearings. We shall see. And the wrong two. Round three scheduled for eight between Danrik Sumabong in the white trunks with red trim and his opponent, Jonathan Francisco, in the white trunks with gold. Uh, Danrik Sumabong, uh, impressive first round, suffered a knockdown in the second round and got hit with a low blow, mm -hmm. which uh, extended this fight somewhat. Yeah, it took more than five minutes for him to recover. Francisco with the solid one-two combination sent him to the seat of his pants. Mm -hmm. Francisco more aggressive Very now. Aggressive, he yeah. knows he can hurt this guy. Sumabong. Touted is the better fighter of the two, but yeah. surprise, surprise. Mm -hmm. Funnier things have happened in the ring. <laughs> True. Still a long ways to go. This is only round number three. Mm -hmm. Bill Velasco here with Del Bacho coming to you from ringside at the Bohol Wisdom School Gymnasium in Tagbilaran. Great exchange there. Nice. Francisco with the better of it. Missed there by Francisco. Yeah. Francisco seems to have gained some supreme confidence now against Sumabong. Doesn't fear him one bit. Sumabong walk, waiting to counter. In, yeah. Francisco trying to bait Sumabong to initiate. Yeah. But when you look at Sumabong's stance and everything, even when he unloads, he's sitting on his punches. Looks very polished, Bill. Oh, look at that. And the, and the way the hips swivel when he throws yeah. a lot of punches. Had him trapped against the rope. Francisco a little dazed here. Yeah. Right on cue. Thank you, Sumabong. <laughs> uh oh. Francisco. Hey. Fighting back out of sheer instinct, gets tagged two more times, three more times. Right. Uppercut by Sumabong. The crowd up on their feet. Francisco has the experience to 
keep his composure to some degree, even though Francisco he was getting hit. Dazed. Francisco in the corner, that's no man's land. Uh -huh. And Sumabong sure knows how to keep in that corner. Uh, Francisco, Francisco turns turning the table. things around. Yeah. Nice hook. Great three punch combination there by Francisco. Boy. Woo! And the crowd loves it. <laughs> Danrik Sumabong now gathering his senses. Francisco recovering from that onslaught. What a round. I would give this round to Sumabong. Oh, no question. So Mabong showing him a thing or two That's in right. round three. End of round three. Francisco taking a little uh, extra time to get up off his stool. Mm -hmm. And why not? That was a heck of a third round. Yeah, he took a lot there, Bill. Danik Sumabong has fully recovered, it seems, from that shot to the groin he got in uh, round number two. Fra Francisco, A for effort. Mm -hmm. But the crowd, obviously, is behind their hometown boy, Sumabo. True. We've got a handful of uh, Boholanons fighting tonight. First event of Vladimir Boxing Promotions. Mm -hmm. And Mark Magsayo, a local hero here. Hoping to become a world hero. Nice overhand right by yeah, Sumabo. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Francisco can't seem to get his timing in this round. Right. Francisco's opting to counter right now, but doesn't look like a good idea. Sumabong just dancing out of trouble. Sumabong between the two seems to know better what to do oh, yeah. in these situations. He's very, very technical. He's just moving enough to avoid getting hit flush right, right. by Francisco. And if you do tag him a bit, it'll be rolling punches. Yes. So it's pretty smart there. Francisco, I'm not too happy with his stance right now. It's a little too wide. Yeah. Means he's not getting the proper distance. Mm -hmm. Danrik Sumabong in the white with red yeah. taking control of this fight. See, you're right with the stance. Francisco gained access in the pocket. However, because of his stance, his punches weren't really that crisp. He's getting tagged by that jab yeah. of Sumabong. Sumabong throwing some variety in. Now Francisco trying mm. to make up for it with a lot of effort here. Right. Mixing up some hooks with his long punches. I think Sumabong's done enough to win this round, so he mm -hmm. could just coast until the end of the round. Yeah, I agree. It's very evident that uh, despite having much less fights than Francisco, he's, more, he's the more refined fighter right here. Well, he's easily taking this round. Mm -hmm. Excellent round for Danrik Sumabong. Sumabong. And round four.
Burger. Past the midpoint of this fight. Danik Sumabong taking control. Francisco putting up a fight, but he's not really oh, yeah. getting much headway. He's just bouncing off the elbows, shoulders, and gloves of Sumabong. Yeah, he just walked into a one-two combination right there. A lot of effort for nothing. He has to deviate from the plan. Mm -hmm. Nice short hook by Sumabong there, right in the pocket. Sumabong much more efficient. Oh, another. Oh, he clocked him that time. Yeah. But Francisco has got a rock hard chin. Yeah. Sumabong's entry into the pocket is so effective. And you know, he always quickly recovers his footing. Right. Because he has the perfect traditional boxing stance. Easy for him to shuffle in and out of situations. Yes. For those of you who don't watch much boxing, the power really comes from the legs and the hip and the movement. Hips, yeah. Like a jump shot in basketball, it comes from the legs up through the body. And the follow through. <laughs> Danrick with the very vocal supporters in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Oh, Francisco walked into that one. Yep. And that one as That's well. Another one caught him backpedaling. Danrick Sumabo piling up the points, frustrating Francisco in this round. Oh, another solid nice. right hook by Sumabong. Franz and Francisco is not so much responding as yeah. reacting. He's, he's trying to hang in there, but it's not really being very effective. In terms of efficiency of punches, it's Sumabong who's really showing some nice flashes of brilliance. A lot more patience. Now, I don't understand why Francisco is sitting back to counterpunch. Yeah. He's shown a lot of power, as he did in the second round when mm -hmm. he got that knockdown. But it's Sumabong dictating the fight. This is actually Francisco's third fight this year. In 2019, he uh, fought twice prior. And he's lost both those matches, so he's trying to break his losing streak tonight. Well, so far, this fight's slipping away. Yeah. Another solid blow by... Oh, nice Tomago. body shot. He's taking the wind out of Francisco. Nice exchange. Great what a round. There. What a round. Great finish. Round six scheduled for eight. Danrik Sumabong starting to run away with this fight. Mm -hmm. Not for any lack of effort on the part of yeah. Jonathan Francisco, Francisco, but Jonathan Francisco really has to change things up and make yeah. more of a fight, throw more variety, use the jab more. That's very true uh, in terms of variety. Uh, there are no variations on his attack, and that's why he's being picked apart now. So Mabo showboating a little bit here. The, look at all the water that's coming out from the shorts of Jonathan Francisco. His, his corner should be worn for excessive uh, 
use of water. I'm all for cooling down your fighters, but uh, they doused him. Yeah, they doused him with water. That's being so irresponsible. And that's going to make it dangerous for the next the fight. The next fight, yeah, exactly. I'm I've solid. seen corners getting penalized for doing yes. that in another sport, though. But look at that. It's, it's like he's peeing in his pants right now because of all the water. It's like he put them on fresh out of the washing machine. That's right. Now, Sumabong is just re letting Francisco wear himself out. Yeah. And then he'd pick him apart. Like I said earlier in the, other, the previous round, Bill, uh, Francisco is coming from a two-fight skid. He's lost both of his fights, fights this year, whereas uh, Sumabong has fought thrice prior to tonight, and uh, he's two wins and one loss in those previous fights this year. Sumabong sticking to the game plan. Moving away from the uh, reach of Francisco. Mm -hmm. Using the ring, using the ropes. Yeah, excellent use oh, he's of the ropes right there. Oh. Oh, was that a knockdown oh, or a slip? It wasn't, a, it wasn't ruled as a knockdown. It looked like a knockdown yes, from our angle. He got hit with a hook. But the referee didn't, didn't see it as a knockdown. Now Francisco is just uh, losing focus here. So Mabong's got the fight in hand so yeah. far. I agree. Wow, wild left right there. That's fatigue. Yeah. He just threw it just for the sake of throwing something. Francisco game, but oh. not as skilled as uh, Somabong. But still, he got a knockdown yeah. in round two. And he's connecting. Oh, he tagged Somabong yeah. that time. He connected with two left hooks. Oh, great. What? Great right. Oh. Another left by Somabong. Somabong recovers to finish strong. Good round for both nice. fighters, but I would give that to Somabong. This is the penultimate round. Danrik Sumabong so far with a substantial lead mm -hmm. over the game, but not as skilled Jonathan Francisco. Francisco looks like he just stepped out of the shower. Or the pool. <laughs> He's glistening with all the water. His yeah. corner's been dousing him with to uh, cool him down. Danrik Sumabong, business as usual. Nice body side right to say, oh, that fired him up. I think Francisco is hurt. Got oh, hit yeah. with the uh, right to the midsection. Oh, yeah. oh. he's starting to go. He's starting to go. Ready to go. Oh, that could have saved him. Solid. Yeah, that saved him. Those lefts Maybe were solid. a couple solid. more flurries could be it. Nice body shot. The, so Mabo has to set this up properly. He was actually saved by the rope. By the rope, yeah. If he were somewhere in the middle of the ring, he would have ended up in his butt. And so Mabong is allowing Francisco to get some rest here. Yeah. Now you see the pattern of Somabong. Throw a right to the midsection, get him to drop his guard, then go for the head. Yeah, right. Very smart. Very smart strategy there. But he's not forcing the issue. Right. No need to take unnecessary risk. He's up on points. I was... Uh, Clear shot again to the right side of the head. But Francisco throwing back. Yeah. Nice combinations by both fighters. When they end up, end up shoulder to shoulder, uh, Sumabong has a great way of angling himself to have a clear they shot. They clashed heads there. Francisco looks oh. hurt. 
he got hit of, uh, at the corner of his left eye. But the referee didn't see anything wrong. Yep. I think Francisco's trying to buy time here. I agree. And uh, from the get-go that we've seen these fighters, I don't think they're dirty fighters, so that was totally unintentional. So Mabong re-establishing his jab. Francisco with more urgency now. Of course. Great defense by Sumabong. Yeah. Sumabong is trying to stay out of danger. I think he's really impressed the judges in this round. Absolutely. Francisco seems to be lying there it is, in the way. There it is, there it is, Bill. Boom, see? That That's overhand right for yeah. Samabo has been a killer. Yeah. Oh, no. Great two-punch combination by Francisco. Mm -hmm. But nice not a, chopping not punches by Sumabong yeah. during the round. One more round. Mm -hmm. and final round these guys do not hit like little men oh absolutely Danrik Sumabong the more refined and precise of the two short chopping right to the jaw mm -hmm. Francisco gallantly fighting oh nice got a big break in the second round with a knockdown uh -huh. but has fallen behind since Mabong is still very calm and composed right now, not rushing into anything, not being careless. He has to finish strong to really seal this fight up. Uh -huh. Very relaxed, very nonchalant. Yes. Nice combo there. He's letting Francisco oh, walk into it. Broken. So Mabong. And Mark. He had Francisco in trouble in round number six. Absolutely. Great shot to the body. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So Mabo almost fell through the ropes. That was more of uh, losing his balance, trying to evade the punches. Both fighters just really giving it all now. Absolutely. It looks, it looks like uh, uh, Francisco's just content. He's spent. Yeah, he's, to, finish the, to finish the round. He's tele telegraphing his punches. Yeah. And Danik, a setup. Oops. Danik's no, really just sneaking in between those yeah. punches. He's thrown yeah. Francisco off his game in this round. He was setting up his overhand right again on the shoulder touch. But wisely, Francisco ties him up. Very impressive outing for Danrik Sumabo. Mm -hmm. The crowd loving it. Danrik brought his own crowd with him.
So Mabon clearly the better fighter. Nice overhand. There it is again. Oh, nice overhand left by Sumabong. Francisco just missing the mark yeah. here. He's throwing wildly now. He's just what we call in the vernacular BST. Yes. <laughs> Wild finish. Wow. And even Francisco lifts up Sumabong to show that he lost to a better fighter. Yeah. Great show of sportsmanship on the part of Francisco. boxing we have a split decision and here are the scores of the three judges Arnel Bastion scores about 76 75 for Francisco Angelito Piquero scores about 78 74 for Sumabo and Antonio Persons finds it 77 74 for your winner by split decision Dan Gray Sumabo Technically superior fighter.